day crafty chimp <coughs> oh sorry excuse me good day crafty chimps and how are you today um it's nikki here carson de cat aka carson de cat's life you realize that a cat is my alter ego how sad is that eh? <laughs> anyway i'm ripping up some book paper and i'm just gonna add some watered down pva glue to it Don't know what the mix is. <laughs> I've um, transferred it actually from a deep tub to a shallow one to make it easier to pick up the pieces. And um, picked up a Barbie yesterday for a sorry, picked up a doll yesterday, <laughs> a naked doll um, from the second hand shop for 50 pence, so that was good. And um, what I'm going to do is nothing new. But it's new to me <laughs> so um yeah it's making one of those uh um book paper bodices uh, to alter and use um for to put a little dress on and put them on canvases or whatever 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 you want um so what you need to do is wrap your dolly <laughs> your doll in um in your clean film wrap, your surround wrap, your glad wrap, whatever wrap it is you use and um, yeah what we're going to do obviously now is um, piece on the um, pieces of uh, book paper and uh, so that's what I'm going to do she's got a nice little tummy this one <laughs> Nice little waist, nice little tummy. So there you go. And uh, I'm using book paper um, because I've uh, I've got a few books that I've picked up over time, and um, to use specifically for uh, mixed media work. And they're not, you know, first editions or anything like that. And they're not old books. They're just, you know, cheap books that I've uh, got in the op shops just specifically to use in mixed media I'm not really one to I don't really like using books in this way but I've got over that <laughs> seriously I have <laughs> what I'm going to do is just um, try and leave a uh, little um, really thin gap just here and not close up the sides because I understand that it's really difficult to cut once this is hardened, you know, you put several layers on, once they're dried and hardened, they're actually quite difficult to get off the dolls. So um, what I'm going to do is leave a very little, little gap, which, are, you know, in the halfway of her back, that's what I'm going to work towards. And, uh, and hope, 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 hope that works well. I don't think the paper's quite soaked enough yet, but um, it will be eventually. I'm using my fingers, because I can. <laughs> They'll eventually get too sticky to use those, but um, I'm actually working with my fingers on this one, because I really want to get that bit at the back right. So there we go. Might just move it slightly in, just slightly closer. Try and get a straight piece to go on this side, I think. An edge. No, I had some. <laughs> just to make a nice little edge there. So I'm going to uh, keep on doing this and um, I'll be back once I've done my um, first layer 
and then I'll come back to show you what it looks like unless there's anything else I think you should see on the way <laughs> um, yeah otherwise this will be a very very long video otherwise and you get bored with it honestly you would anyway so see you soon okay so be prepared with this process to make a big mess <laughs> just clearing up a little bit here and just uh, almost finishing up that first bit just checking for holes and bits that have fallen off it's a huge one there <laughs> um, so yeah be prepared to make a mess and uh, don't get too upset about it you know just prepare your work surfaces first I did mine um, really over the glass bit so that it could be easily wiped off and uh, so yeah that's my first layer and she's just going to do a pl little plank there for me for a while um, so that uh, she can dry out nicely <laughs> see you again for the second so I've layer. speeded up the process of the drying just a little bit because it will take me forever otherwise um, to finish this video and I don't have forever <laughs> you know because um, to do this properly you need um, at least one or two days to dry probably one day to dry properly between each layer um, so what I'm doing is um, as I say I just sped that up a little bit by using the um, heat tool on it but I don't recommend that <laughs> I recommend that give yourself the time to let it dry but of course obviously because I make so many videos and that um, sometimes I just don't have the time to do that to allow it to dry properly um, in between things because uh, I have to make so many videos um, but anyway so yeah I'm trying to still keep that um the uh, the gap in between the back of her dress there doing this on my little glass top so that um, that I got the 50p from the you know go and check out your local op shops and things and uh, second-hand shops and um, because you'll be surprised at um, what they have got in there for you to be able to use so I've got this um, top because uh, you can cut on it you can paint you know and the drips don't matter and and uh, so you know you can save yourself a lot of aggro if you just go and have a look in different places you can pick things up really cheaply that's what I do <laughs> so yeah anyway there we go probably in America you can pick them up even cheaper than we can here over here in the UK so just go out there and uh, see what you can find so there we go I'm going to uh, come back when I've uh, got the second um, second layer on all together uh, as I say otherwise it would be a very long video <laughs> so I've just um, finished my uh, second layer there I've managed to more or less keep the back open um, I've decided to go for quite a longer um, bodice on this one um, I've also because of course uh, if you're going to shape it it does take a lot of extra work and um, this is my first go so I'm just trying to keep it as simple as I can and that's why I've gone straight across on the top instead of trying to shape it down into a little heart shaped thing or anything and um, I'm just popping a few places down where it's just coming up a little bit and uh, we'll leave that one to dry um, good old Barbie will do her plank again and uh, oh, my plastic doll <laughs> I'm not sponsored by anyone plastic doll <laughs> so uh, yeah and uh, just gonna let her dry a bit more and we'll see the next stage okay so I've uh, it's not dry yet it's um she's gonna need like an overnight dry just to make her nice and solid but she's well on the way um, what I'm going to do now is uh, is put some gauze on and um, it just helps I think to strengthen it up and I'm going to uh, actually get it on with some Mod Podge I hope Mod Podge I hope 
Um, anything that sticks over it and that um, I can actually trim off after. I'd love to be able to tell you where I saw this video, but um, I can't, so I can't, um, I can't um, credit who I saw. What I'll do is I'll go through my um, viewing history um, by the time this video comes out and see if I can find out um, who I watched to um, get this technique and credit them. And if I can't, I'm, if I don't find it, then I'm I'm sorry, <laughs> it's not done on purpose, this isn't my technique, this is the culmination of watching different people um, do this technique, so uh, so yeah, I'm hoping that this works, we'll see, and if I can find the video, I will definitely um, put a credit in the box below so you know who who I watched for this. If it works, <laughs> um, I don't know, <laughs> we'll see. I might manage to make it work, I might not. I was going to start at the back, but I thought maybe I'd better actually start at the front to make sure it all goes down nice and smooth. Maybe this should have been the first layer. Maybe I'll have to like go back and see. I don't know. We'll see though. Not that it really matters. Sure she'll look fab. Anyway, so I just finished doing this and uh oh, I could finish doing this one on the video here, it's not going to take too long is it? <laughs> Just trim a bit off. Glad I'm wearing my apron because I think I just splashed myself with glue then. <laughs> Bit of glue came out as a big blob. enough off did I? Here we are. Right, she's a good girl, she's doing her exercises again. <laughs> so say I'll be trimming off anything you know that's um, gone over and that afterwards when it's dry or I might do it when it's wet, I haven't decided <laughs> as you can see it makes a nice um, using these dolls actually does give a great shape to the bodice, the dress form whatever you like to call it I don't know what they're called. <laughs> but anyway, there you go. Let her dry. 
so here we go then I'm just turning the light around just to see um, if I can get a better lighting on this so that it's, you know we're not casting too much in shadow um, so as you can see she's uh, dried <laughs> and it's time for the unboxing <laughs> oops sorry <laughs> and uh, yeah the reason why I've got the light on is because it's night time and I can't sleep so I decided I might as well come and see if I can um, take off her dress everybody says it's really hard to cut through this and uh, and that's why I left the little gap there um, to hopefully make this part of it just a little bit easier to do and it's not too bad I did actually cover it over with the gauze which is okay I think just oh, cut down sorry if this isn't um the lighting is not too good on this as I say it's night time I can't sleep so I've come to finish her off so I think that putting the gauze on might be a bit like fiberglassing <laughs> but anyway we'll see I might not put enough layers on but who knows it's quite good isn't it nice little dressy form there wow I'm excited <laughs> that worked out much better than I thought it was going to I thought it was going to be a horrible mess which it might still be if I can't get this plastic wrap off I don't know, is it supposed to come off? <laughs> is it supposed to come off and come out? But everybody seems to pull it off, so... I think maybe I don't have enough layers on mine either, because mine seems to be more mouldable than others do. is coming off. Maybe I should have Vaseline her first, what do you think? <laughs> I'm such a comedian. So I'm just going to trim down now. I'm, I'm really excited by that. I mean it looks, um, looks good, doesn't it? That's going to make a wonderful little uh, dress form art dress whatever they call it I'll have to go and look up and see what, what everybody else is calling them won't I can you hear the lines creaking they're very loud here but um, the wind's picked up a bit excited take that little bit of extra care around the top certainly paid off in um, the shaping and the modeling of it yeah not too shabby at all you can't like it and you can't like it wow so there you go that's my um, little dress form and it's uh, ready for me to decorate. Awesome! <laughs>
Oh, I don't know whether to make this a two part or just go for it. So, uh, um, so I'll say bye for now. Uh, so thanks for watching. Thanks for joining my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Don't forget it's a cat's life. Bye.